Hello everyone, and welcome. There was a Jojo game that released a while ago, that I have yet to play, called World of Stands. Now I was supposed to play an M Showdown, since it released like a day or two ago, but I forgot it cost 200 Robux, and I sadly don't have it right now. Anyway, this is my first time playing World of Stands, and I'm going in completely blind. So without further ado, let's begin. Starting off the game, and I'm talking to a random person. Guessing off other JoJo games this is probably the Joster Mansion. Interesting, looks like we have to go talk to Jonathan over here. Alright, I got some of the basic controls down, we have to go beat some thugs outside, I hope the combat in this game is good. And looks like we're in London, the bandits should be around here somewhere. Let's see what they talking about. Alright, punching is smooth, and this game has blocking. I'm probably gonna forget to use it, but at least it's there. We got some controls down here which is probably for the stands. First one down, two more to go. First impressions, this game seems pretty cool. It's not a bizarre day copy or something like that, kinda reminds me of Roblox is unbreakable, but I feel like this will be better, they got an item shop. Also there are some codes I can redeem, but it has a level requirement. I'll be able to use them by the end of the video. Anyway, let's continue with the quest. There goes the last one, and the quest is done. Time to go back. Thanks for dealing with those thugs, and look, we got an arrow for it. I wasn't expecting to get one so fast. Alright, I don't know the rarities or anything, but I hope I get something good. The effects are nice. We got Magician's Red, I think this is good. Time to go see what Jonathan has to say. Uh oh, looks like Dio is coming into the storyline now, and he's gonna try to make Danny crispy. Let's go stop that. Danny is here, and I have to go look for a key, interesting. There are a lot of corners here so this might be difficult. Never mind, just a random floating key here, time to free Danny. Nice, we let the dog out, gotta head back to Jonathan now. Yep, we are probably gonna fight Dio soon, and we gotta go talk to Zeppeli now. I'm indeed the new one, and another subquest. We gotta get this dude some fruity juice, or whatever he talking about, it's in one of these crates. This game is pretty interesting so far. Here it is, fruit blast red juice. Sounds like it has a lot of sugar in it. Time to go bring it back. Nice, we got some XP from that. I was on a test, to see how reliable I was I see. Now we have to go to Jonathan again. Most people just ignore Zeppelin's silly request. I lowkey would have too. Imagine a guy in a top hat in a random alley asking you for some fruity juice. Anyway, we got some more action. Defeating some more thugs. I can finally use my stand, and see what it does. A barrage like move that's a flammer thrower, not combo extendable though. That looked like a punch or kick. No clue what that was. Oh, that was a pretty power looking move. Also C is a dash. I'm guessing V is her ultimate, since it's the last, and it's a different color. I'll use it on the strong thug probably, or not. That was kinda crazy, and it did half of his health bar, not bad. Time to go beat the rest of these thugs. I think the bind move stuns them. No. Never mind. We back, and thankfully my progress was saved. This is the final guy we gotta beat, let's get this over with. GG. Wow these effects are nice. 
Oh, there's more. An animation. That was sick. And it looks like the ultimates change. Epic. Time to move on. Back to Zeppeli we go. Also we can upgrade our skills which is pretty cool. There is a mysterious fella in the alley behind here. Wonder who that is. Oh. It's the person from the beginning. Valentina. We have something called potential. That we can upgrade. Which is like a stand tree but different. Yeah this looks a little confusing not gonna lie. I'll get used to it though. I upgraded my health. Nice. I got a arrow and a roca fruit. Nice. Now we gotta go see what Zeppeli wants. Before we do that, I'm gonna roll for another stand and see what I get. Same thing. Wow. I would try to say what has saying, but the bot voice would sound very weird. Now we got speed wigan in the story. Looks like he lost his hat. As high as these bloody rooftops. It's probably on a rooftop then. I saw a ladder around here earlier. Let's go get it. Yep. Here it is. We are now on the rooftops. His hat should be around here somewhere. Here it is. Time to go give it back. Oh cool. They actually animated him putting it on. That's a cool addition. Uh oh. He keeps his gangs posted up in the alley. They run these streets. I'm shaking in my boots right now. We gotta go best three of them. I'm gonna go. Do that real quick. There we go. Let's see what Speed Wigan has to say. We are ready to take on greater challenges, and we have to go back to Zeppeli. That is definitely not Zeppeli. Something happened. Yep, he disappeared. They saw some vampires. Let's check it out. Oh, here's Zeppeli. Just got done fighting a vampire. Now we have to go fight it. This should be a little more difficult than fighting a street thug. I should probably learn how to block more, but it is a bit more difficult, since blocking is F. I feel like I'm the only person that blocks with E. Yeah, this guy is pretty much just an advanced thug, not too difficult. There we go, he's dead. Nice, I got an arrow. And we have to go talk to Valentina this time instead of Zeppeli, interesting. I'm glad found me, true. Now we gotta find another vampire named Bruford. We also have to obtain pluck, hope it's not rare, or maybe it's a 100% drop chance, I don't know. As you already know this is a public server, and someone else got his health low, before I came here. Also, how the heck are we fighting a vampire in the middle of the day? This is one interesting game. Dang, he's really low health too. Got a level up with that too. Nice. She saw Zapelli go to the top of the castle, which I guess is Dianus. We are probably about to fight him. Apparently they can't go inside the castle because of some type of portal and we need some specific things to go inside of it. This is where we finally go to beat Dio and we will get a reward for doing it. I have the requirements for this domain so let's head in. I have a high enough level for one of the codes. I'm gonna use it to get a shiny stand first then I'm gonna head in. Whoa, that is a sick skin. This is red hot chili pepper as killer. Nice. I think it's finally time to go fight Dio. Here we go everyone. I'm going in solo mostly, because I don't have anyone to play with.
and we're in. The devs definitely set the atmosphere right. And wow, we got a lot of NPCs here. It would be extremely boring if I showed myself going through them one by one. So I mask up a bit. I don't know exactly what this move does, but wow does it make my stand look cool. Finally, that was the last one, and something activated, a downward staircase. Let's see what's down here. Interesting, we got a couple of things going on down here. Guess I'll start with these three, there is something in the middle, that needs to be activated. There goes the last one, now I can pull this lever. Interesting, a piece of a staircase showed up, I guess I gotta get like 3 more levers, to get a full one. Second round over, time to get this lever. Now for this one I have to do a parkour a B, which is pretty interesting. The fire goes on and off, so I gotta wait for that. So far this game has been fun. Uh oh, some spikes down here. They look easy to dodge though. And now the entire staircase is there. This is the one that leads to Dio probably. That took a little minute to finish, but now I can finally start the boss fight with Dio. I'm hoping to finish this off with my ultimate. There he is, and he has 500 health. I can definitely solo this. One recommendation I have for Red Hot Chili Pepper is as in its so shiny skin. His moves are very similar to his, and his ultimate is just like it, I'll show it near the end. And that's a pretty cool move, it lasts for a while too. I don't know if the game has hammer, but this would go by fast if I had it probably. I should've gotten it before I came in here, but it's too late since the game removed the menu. I'm still doing a lot of damage with Killua though. If anyone knows what that move does, please tell me. From what I know it doesn't buff damage or anything, but I'm guessing something happens during this. Still the stand looks really cool during it. but we got him below 100 health. This should be over shortly. And this is it, the final attack, I'll go all out. Goodbye, Dio. Done. I don't even care bruh, we beat Dio, that's an A in my eyes. Nice, I got a stand storage slot. Guess that was the reward he told me about. More dangerous news? I'm not in the mood for that right now. That's the end of my London journey, next stop, New York. If you guys wanna see me do that in a later video let me know. Like and subscribe, and see you later.